The Risk Navigator can automatically populate with your existing positions, or you can start with a blank slate and either manually enter instruments or import them from a file. Either way, you can edit the positions and add new positions, or see the effect of closing out existing ones through the Risk Navigator What If. In this lesson, we'll highlight several methods to build and alter a portfolio to measure the possible effects of market risk on the portfolio. First, we will bring up a new Risk Navigator What If, and a pop-up box will appear, asking if you want to pre-populate the new portfolio with your existing positions. Click Yes. The Risk Navigator will appear already populated with everything underlying. To drill down into the specific instruments, go to the Report Selector and click the plus sign next to Drill at the bottom. Notice the Risk Navigator is outlined in red. This is an indicator that you are working in a What If portfolio and can make changes to see the results. I'm currently in the Equity tab and showing our Stock, Options, Futures and Futures Options for my portfolio. If I click on the Forex tab, it will show me any Forex positions. Let's go back to the Equity tab and go through a few examples of adding or removing positions to see the effect it has on the overall portfolio. It is easy to remove a stock from the report. Simply uncheck the white box next to the instrument you no longer want to see. Let's uncheck a stock position and a future position. The report selector is currently set to Risk by Underlying, so you can choose to either remove every item under a symbol or a specific instrument. Once an instrument or instruments are unchecked, the blue swirl will appear next to the Maintenance and Initial Margin, Value at Risk and Expected Shortfall in the Risk Dashboard area. Click on the swirl next to either Margin and VAR or ES to update the values to reflect the new portfolio. You can change the report selection to Risk by Country or Risk by Industry. You can omit an entire country or industry from your portfolio by clicking on the white box next to the industry or country name. You can quickly isolate the report viewer to a single underlying currency or trade date by clicking on the drop-down box next to the category in the selector panel. Next, we will add in positions to see their overall effect on the portfolio. To add an instrument not already in the portfolio, click on the green New button and enter the symbol and choose which instrument you want to add. Once selected, it will populate the report viewer and the cursor will appear in the position column. Enter the theoretical position you want to add. If you are going to be short the position, use a minus sign. Once you enter the new positions, click on the blue swirls next to the margins or VAR to see the impact. You may add as many positions as you like, as well as change around the size to see the effect they would have on your current portfolio. You can save your portfolios to view and compare to each other by going to the Portfolio menu in the title bar and select Save As and then name the portfolio. You can also use the Risk Navigator What If to build a theoretical portfolio from scratch. This can be useful in seeing various portfolio combinations for cash in your account that can be put to work. We will close out this What If and bring up a new one from the new window area. This time, when the pop-up asks if you want to pre-populate the new portfolio with your existing positions, select No. The Risk Navigator opens on the P&L screen. Enter the amount of cash you want to start with for your portfolio. I'll enter $100,000 by clicking on the cell next to USD in the Position column. I'll now click on the Equity tab. Notice that the net liquidity equals $100,000 and that there are no other values populated. I'll add three long stock positions and two short stock positions and an option position by clicking on the green New button. After each position is added, notice the change in values in the Risk Dashboard when I refresh them. 
Throughout adding and removing positions, you can save the portfolios with different names to be able to access them later and compare to each other. Thank you.